Hello and welcome to another video and this week I'm going to touch upon social media strategy. If you remember social media actually cropped up in the first video I did this year about uh, New Year's resolutions as something that many businesses felt that they kind of probably needed to devote more attention to. Um, I mentioned at the time I think there's quite a lot of angst around social media because you can fall into the trap of, of thinking you need to be sort of plastered across every uh, channel and every uh, every medium whereas in fact you know you, you probably don't need to but there's maybe the perception that you're missing out on on a whole kind of chunk of customers if you're not doing that truth is never that simple and i think thankfully in this case really but anyway i want to touch on a few things to consider when uh, taking your brand onto social media or uh, when looking to actually use social media in a more proactive way and uh, in order to do so it's very important to have a strategy so here goes number one Decide what you want to achieve. Write a short mission statement as you would for your business based on what you want to gain actually from your social media presence. For example, I might say, I want to help small business owners, startups and solopreneurs understand how outsourcing their work is a simple and beneficial way to increase their productivity. This is not really about me trying to bring customers on board, it's about trying to do something helpful and useful and create stuff actually even for existing customers. So I'm using, uh, I'm very much using it as um, a way of, uh, I'm going to say educating, but um, a way of, let's say, helping uh, people who may already be my customer. Two, find out where your audience is. Do your research. Find the channels that your target audience uses um, and concentrate on, on doing that well. So if this just means doing Facebook, then just do Facebook, but do it kind of well. But don't feel you just have to cover everything and replicate everything. Three, content is king. This is a sort of phrase which has been corrupted a little bit recently, I think, probably because there's the idea of just sort of churning out content and content and, oh, look, you know, it needs to be sort of 2,000 words, 4,000 words, etc., etc. Content is still king, however, but it's quality content. Video is the most kind of consumed uh, type, so I would suggest if it's possible to do that. But again, it depends on which channel you're doing and what your business is. Um, and I'll go into a little bit more detail in the longer version of this video. Four, consistent doesn't mean spamming. So be consistent, but find a pace that suits you and your audience. Don't just churn out one after another, posts this, that, and the other. Find a pace. Now, it's obvious on some kind of social media channels, maybe you'll post a little bit more, Facebook maybe more than you would on Twitter, but find the right pace for you for producing good content, for sharing information, helpful things that your target audience wants to see. Five follow the conversation. Using social media must never be a one-way conversation. You've heard this before, of course, but simply sort of using it to send out sporadic marketing sort of messages or promotional kind of uh, messages from your own brand is not really going to be useful to anyone. It won't really be enjoyed and therefore it won't really actually sort of help you to get anything out of social media. So listen to your industry, listen to your competitors, your customers and influencers within the sphere and Lastly, number six, link to this is be honest. This is really important and it's something that everyone, myself included, can fall into and does fall into this sort of trap on a regular basis. Social media is a weird thing. You're talking about yourself and what you do um, and, you, and you're sharing this information in, in public. Now, you don't normally air your dirty laundry and it's normal on social media you will want to portray yourself you know, in the best possible light. Just be careful about this and make sure you stay on the line of honesty. People online can spot phony from a mile away. So just be honest. Be honest in what you're doing. Be honest in what your company does. You know, you don't need to sort of scream and shout about your limitations. But I think just, just be sort of realistic um, because what you represent on social media must ultimately be what you are as a brand, as a company. Great, that's it. I'm going to do a longer version of this video where I'll give a few examples, I think, and just go into a bit more useful kind of detail. And that will be linked from the blog post on the website. You can find it obviously on the busy.co forward slash blog, and it'll be on YouTube as well. If you do like this video, then please do uh, comment uh, below. Also go over to YouTube where you can like and subscribe and let me know your thoughts there as well. If you'd like to see me do something different, then by all means say so. Uh, but until the next one, Thank you for watching.